Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can evaluate polynomial and find the roots of second and third degree polynomials of uh, quadratic and cubic. So let's say you have x squared minus 5x plus 6 to find the, the value of roots. So you set this equation equal 0 and you find the value for x. Uh, this is, uh, so we have to put it in the format of ax squared plus bx plus c. So the a, a is 1, now b is minus 5, and then c is 6. So we will need these values. So press mode, go down, equation, press 2. And then this arrow shows that we have more. Go down, quad, press 2. Now it, it asks for a. So... 1 and then equal sign and then minus 5 plus this minus 5 and then equal sign and for c plus 6. So it gives you the answer x1 and x2 is 2. Now let's go for the next. This calculator doesn't show the uh, vertex format. So, so now we have uh, 3x x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now because it's the same second degree, I just press equal sign. It asks for a, so 3. And then again b is 3, and then c is 2. The answer is now x is minus 5, but we, uh, we see something else at the, end, uh, the corner, that is xy. So x, y here, it shows that this has imaginary part, like x and y part. So imaginary part is, uh, it has imaginary part. This is the real. To get the imaginary part, we press this second function and exp with that two arrow left and right. So that the answer was minus 0 0.5 plus this value i. So I'm pressing equal sign. Now x2, again, we have x and y, so minus 5 and then second function. This time it's minus, so plus minus this value. Now, let's say you have equation something like that. So now we have 1, a coefficient of x is 1, and then for minus I'm pressing this minus, minus 2, and then 1 for the c. As you can see, c is 1, and then x is 1. And we don't have other value. If you don't see x2, so then we have uh, x has uh, we have two one value, both x1 and x2 are one. So now let's go for the third degree. Press mode, go down equation, press two, and then go down three for cubic. Now we have. Uh, this is now in terms of AX, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So this is a is minus 1 and then because we don't have x squared, so it's 0x squared and then 4x and then we don't have d, so that is 0. So our values are a is minus 1, I'm pressing this minus with 1. And then b is 0 and then c is 4 and then for d 0 calculating x1 is 2 i'm pressing equal sign x2 is 2 x3 is 0 now let's do this one because it's the same cubic i will not change it just press so now again we have no value here so for the second one so a is minus 1 b is 0 and then c is 3 and d is minus 5. Now x1 is two po minus 2.2 2 plus equal sign and now again x and y appear here so this has imaginary part 11.39 and the second function with this arrow plus 0.9i 94i and then equal sign, again we have imaginary parts, 11.13, and this is minus 11.95i, so that's 
the answer for this one. So this was how you can use this calculator to solve quadratic and cubic equation. Thank you for watching. Please sum up the video and also share it with friends and subscribe if you're interested in upcoming videos.